And now our Mike Randall reports on the health of another potential pet, getting the medical care she needs thanks to your help through YourSPCA.org. Here we are at the SPCA. It's Yelp for Help Day, and we're checking out a cat with Bethany Clock. What's the cat's name? This is Zola. She's only about a year old, and she's been through, well, she's kind of a work in progress, we'll call her. She was surrendered to us at 11 o'clock on a Friday night because she had been vomiting, had diarrhea, wasn't eating. Wow. Yep, her owners didn't know what was going on. They had brought her to a clinic, and the clinic suggested that perhaps she had eaten something, and the owners assumed that too because, hide her ears, she likes to eat plastic bags. Oh no, plastic yep. bags, Zola, that's terrible. I know, some cats just really love the sound of the crinkly bags, yeah. I can't explain it. So, Zola had emergency surgery, exploratory surgery, on Saturday, and here's where it gets a little embarrassing again. Zola had not eaten a plastic bag, she had a lot of gas. That was it? Well, yeah, at, be, at the first, that's what we thought. She had a lot of gas, and she had some stool that had compacted, and it was in the end of her intestine. Oh, so that okay. would explain why she couldn't go to the bathroom. All so right. we did. Yeah, she some, lost a lot of weight. She looks very skinny. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but she's, yeah, she's very skinny. Yeah, she's only five and a half pounds. Yeah. So after surgery, things got a little worse for Zola because she began open mouth breathing, which is never a good sign. Mm -hmm. She began gagging when she was trying to eat food. So every single day since May 12th, we have done x-rays okay. on her to make sure that everything is going through her system as it should. Mm -hmm. She's on a special high fiber diet and right now she's battling upper respiratory infection. So we're not giving up on her. And it's so like you said, she's a work in progress, but yeah. man, is she so affectionate. She is super affectionate. In order to get things moving for a while, we took her out of her cage and she hung out in the vet tech offices and that seemed to help. So we're not giving up on this cutie pie. We can't. And that's why it's so important for folks to donate to Yelp for help. Yes. How could we deny her help? Look at, she's just such a smush right now. She is. <laughs> well, I hope she gets well soon and hope we figure out exactly what's wrong with her. Thanks, Bethany. Thank you, Mike.